Welcome back. You've heard about varicose and spider veins. Some can be painful and unattractive. So what causes them? And more importantly, what can we do to avoid the problem? Joining us this morning is Baptist Health's Dr. David Gerson with Sherwood Family Clinic. Welcome back. We're Thank glad you. you're here this morning. morning. This is a topic a lot of women out there are going, what, what can I do to prevent these or, or yeah. treat these? Because you start to get them and it seems like it only continues to get worse. And yeah, that's, that's, that's unfortunately the case. And sometimes you just can't fight it. Uh, varicose veins. Um, I think we may have some pictures up here in a second, mm -hmm. but varicose veins are veins that have become weak over time okay. um, and they cause backflow of blood and they swell up. They get swollen and we usually see them in the legs. Mm -hmm. We'll see them around the ankles, the calves, the thighs. Um, and they can be quite distressing. The good news is they're not really very dangerous most of the time. We've got a picture and that, I mean, these yeah, are that's extreme. A, that's a severe case. case. That's right? a severe case. And that would, that would, uh, that's actually probably a, a man's leg. So okay. the important point also there is that men get them too. Gotcha. Um, and so this is the kind of case where, yeah, the doctor probably does want to see you and okay. talk about some options. Mostly what we try to do if you're not having symptoms is talk about some lifestyle changes. Okay, what causes these specifically? What can we do to, to prevent it? So um, increasing age, you can't fight that. Right. Medical history, um, family history, you can't fight who you're, you know, who you're born, what so family. So look you're at your mom and dad's legs. If they have them, there's a good chance you're going Well, gonna there's, a chance that you, there's a chance you get them, and then you'll have to work harder to prevent them. Gotcha. And so some of the things we talk about is hormonal changes. Watch the kinds of hormones, especially like uh, birth control pills. Um, watch your smoking. You shouldn't be smoking at all. Smoking does increase your risk of this. For some of the smaller veins, like spider veins, which are also considered a varicose vein mm -hmm. subclass, sun exposure, you want to watch your sun exposure you want ah. to keep away from that um, and then weight you want to make sure you're trying to stay as close as possible to your ideal weight obesity is a big cause of this because it's pushing down on the blood flow which is trying to get back to the heart so talk about what level it gets to where you do need to go see the doctor and sure. what can a doctor do sure if you're uncomfortable that's the first thing mm. if you don't like if they just feel bad if they're throbbing they're aching you go see the doctor if they're causing you distress because uh, of the way they just look that's also a good reason don't be bashful about that the more important things are if you start noticing that they become warm and hot red and tender if you're starting to notice that they actually are bleeding or you're developing any kind of ulcers and the other thing is if you're noticing skin color changes that's a big problem as well um, and then of course what I said at the beginning pain if you get pain with them come on in and see the doctor we'll talk about what the options are and what are some of those options for people that suffer from this well so the first one so spider veins and those are the more superficial ones mm -hmm. those ones kind of look like tree branches you'll see it a lot on the face and on the lower legs um, laser therapy can actually help with that believe it or not um, then with the larger ones we talk about there are laser therapies that are outside but also laser therapies that are inside that are done by a surgeon a plastic surgeon or someone who specializes in vascular surgery sclerotherapy is a is a um, the most common uh, uh, treatment for the larger veins and that's where we're actually injecting a chemical into the vein to actually destroy it to seal it off mm -hmm. and then when they're really severe we have a vascular surgeon or a general surgeon go in and actually tie them off and sometimes they'll put what's called stripping the vein and they'll actually take them out so there are some options out mm -hmm. there. Dr. David Gerson with Sherwood Family Clinic. Thanks so much. If you need more information, there's the number on your screen to the Baptist Health Line. It's 1-888-BAPTIST. He tells me I've got to get rid of these high heels if I want to avoid spider veins. <laughs>